What's up, YouTube? Dark Lord Diablos here, coming at you with a deck profile. Something that I've been working on for the past several months that I just recently updated, and I would like to share it for to with you today. I call this DDD as a joke acronym representing the three archetypes that I'm bringing together. Even though technically there's kind of like four archetypes, but we ignore it. And this is basically the archetype I like to call De Dark Lords, Despia, and Destiny Heroes. That I practically like to use that I recently gave an update to. Sadly, when it comes to competitive play, this deck is still really expensive due to this thing still being like in the $30, $20 range. But most of the cards in this deck are fairly cheap costs when it comes to the TCG. Dark Lords, they're fairly fucking cheap. I think the most expensive would probably be a, a copy of a Chell. Uh, maybe. I could be wrong. I gotta, I gotta probably check that later. If not, future me, if he has time to edit, will put down the price of uh, the, str the strongest card. Not strongest, the most expensive card out of the Dark Lords up here. Lightning Storm, probably going around like $30. And... Possibly Golden Sarcophagus out of the main deck, and I think just fairly most of the cards in here, besides I know Alber and Lightning Storm, are fairly cheap to get across. So you can build this deck, and it's not going to be the best thing in the world because, again, you're playing with Dark Lords, but it's still very fun to play with. The extra deck, of course, we're running three Morning Star, the first Dark Lord, one copy of. Masquerade the Blazing Dragon, but I kind of like the Crimson Gleam Dragon better. One copy of number 38, because Exorbing Spells is really good in, even in this format. One copy of Daigirsu, because protection and just deleting a card on the field is funny as all hell. One copy of number 90, who I do believe is fairly expensive, because again, negates. Running uh, Arash, Goddess of the Underworld, which I probably would like to do a video talking about her one day. Because even if she requires five, you can get a lot of cards out with this deck really fairly easily. You can special summon fairies fairly easy once this deck gets going, so you can get at least the four effect monsters needed for a requirement. And if you happen to try to break your opponent's board, you can use one of their monsters for her summon. And just fucking Aresh's potential is very good. First most, she cannot be destroyed except by being targeted, which is inverse of most cards. Two, she can negate any card that activates in the graveyard. Particularly, she's very good against fucking, um... <sighs> Phantom Knight matchups? I don't know what to call it because it's Phantom Knight with a uh, Burning Abyss. So, Burning Knight matchups? Yeah, that sounds good. Burning Knight matchups? She's really good against those. Next, we run one copy of Borwell's Sword, because getting over things is important. Appaloosa, because Appaloosa. Nightmare to bounce. Nightmare Phoenix to pop. One Condemned Dark Lord to search out Lucifer. One Nightmare Cerberus to pop a special summon monster. And IP Mascarena, just in case. For our side deck, we're running another copy of Condemned. Branded in red, this card, which isn't out in the TCG yet, which is why it's in the side deck, and I'm probably going to move it for TCT, uh, remove it for now. But this card is really good. What it does is, when you when you activate it, you can search him out from the deck or grave, and while it's in the field, you cannot draw. But that, that, during the draw phase, that doesn't matter because we run plenty of draw cards in this deck. And it basically gives Plasma 100 attack for each card in the graveyard. It cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. And it can make it in second attack during each battle phase, which is really good. And your opponent cannot target a card you control with effects. Which is amazingly good. Now, what is Destiny Hero Plasma? That is this guy. Plasma essentially is a level 8 monster that is a special summon monster from your hand by tributing three monsters. Any three monsters. Now while he's on the field, he negates all active effects. Well, not active effects. All effects your opponent controls. It works like skill drain. Now note when I say negate effects, it doesn't work with effects that are continuous effect. Or what I like to call, to call continuous effects. 
basically, for example, Marshmallow on. Even though its effect is negated, it still can't be destroyed by battle because that is a continuous effect. So basically, any effect that has to be activated, it prevents it from activating. Also, you can target one monster on the field and basically like relinquish, equip it to this card, and it gains the attack of the half of the original monster applied by this effect. So essentially, it's already going to go up to 20, so, uh, at least over 2,000, which is pretty decent for an all effect negation, and you're getting 100 attack points for each card in the graveyard, and this deck quickly fills the graveyard. I will probably try to play this card in the first playtest, but for now, for TCG, for people who just want to play TCG, this is the setup. Oh, we're not quite first. That's fine. Uh, this hand's actually pretty decent. We have Albert, which can search our Fusion spell. We can search a Dark Lord. So what we can do is bring out Lucifer on turn and nuke the field. And then on next turn, bring out Demergia, uh, Demergia of Despia so we can negate one of his monsters. He's playing Plunder Patrol. I don't know. I have never played against Plunder Patrol before. So I don't know how this is going to go. We do have Trade In, which is amazing draw power. If we can get a Suburbia, that will be fucking great. So we can special summon Lucifer, nuke his field, and bring out Suburbia, bring out Demergia that way, and then go into probably number 90 or number 38 to answer any plays forward. Now again, regrettably, this is not a competitive deck whatsoever. This deck has great fucking pop-off, but if anything gets disturbed, it's really hard to recover from it. And I'm not even joking. I've played so many games with this deck, that somebody stops me, it's fucking... Ooh, it, 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 it sucks, man. It, it, it sucks. Okay, hold up. That's all he did. So, let me get this straight. So we have... Okay. Uh, normal summon Albert. Albert. Do you have any way to chain it? Yep. Okay. That does not matter because we have terraforming. And what we're trying to grab is the field spell. Just don't activate teleforming right in the center of that card. Do you have any response? No? Add field spell? Uh, we don't necessarily have to nuke his field. Any response? No? Uh, so we'll bring Suburbia. Because we can use Suburbia to bring out Dermagy of Despia. We're going to activate Theater. Now, the reason why Theater makes Dark Lords more playable is essentially what this does. It's basically a fusion spell. Dark Lords have their own fusion spell for their fusion monster, but the problem is that, hypothetically, you can't really use it because it's a trap card. You can get it in the graveyard and use it on your opponent's turn. Which is funny. But, oh yeah, that's right. Despia summons itself from grave. Yeah. 
You can't target. I'm not even joking. You cannot target. Because Lucifer's on field. We'll bring out Suburbia. Sadly, I think that misses timing because it's in the chain. I think I could be wrong. Fairies you control. I think he can target Engrave. What do you do? Yeah, it, it targets. He cannot target any fairies. So what we're going to do is probably do the wisest thing and just straight up attack into it. Not do any damage this turn. Because as long as they're fairies, he can't target. And if Plunder Patrol does nothing but target, he can't do anything as long as um, Morningstar is on the field. Or Lucifer is on the field. Or the first Dark Lord. However you want to call it. I still call him Dark Lord of the Morningstar because it's a better fucking name at me. I probably should put some like music in the background. Because it's kind of real quiet. By the way, this is going to be like a long line of videos I'm going to try to push out within the week. So, I'm going to like record like five or six videos today. Most of them are going to be deck profiles. I'm probably going to do some card fight stuff. Um, and then I'm going to like quickly edit them to decency and then like push them out all in one week and that's probably going to be my style for the next couple weeks because regrettably every time I make a big video and it takes me like months to fucking try to get it together I end up not doing all the shit I want to do like my current Genshin video was supposed to have a lot more editing but due to personal life stuff meaning and my job I just I just can't I just couldn't do all the editing I wanted to do with that because there was supposed to be a skit that belongs with it Uh, no. Lucifer can quick effect special summon a fairy monster during either your opponent's or your turn. If I can get, um, my one-off Despian and special summon him to the field, I can literally just be like, oh, yeah. Now he's at 52 and you have to deal with a 52 point monster. Throw these guys in attack point position, summon him out, 52, that gains 800, he gains 800, and just fucking win that way. By the way, I'm going to credit this deck to MGT. I don't know him... But he does do cross. He is currently doing a crossover with Hard Leg Joe. And when I was dueling Hard Leg Joe about a couple of months back, when he was doing um, his testing for what a deck with his uh, Sky Strikers, which I haven't been going to the Patreon hangouts as much as I'm supposed to because of work, and I really should. I'll try to make it next month. This month, um, he said, "Oh, this is MGT's deck." And my response was, that's weird because I came up with this deck on a f on the fly. Yeah, we're going to negate that. He can't do anything, but he can discard a Pal Patrol. So, and by, apparently by discarding them, they gain effects. So we're just going to go ahead and negate it. Because why not? Um, I actually don't know what Plunder Patrol does. So, uh, if that was the wrong play, tell me down in the comments before. But apparently, he credited the, the idea of combining Dark Lords and Despians to him. Which, if so, cool, but I didn't get it from him. I literally just saw, oh wait, any fairy fusion monster. Oh wait, Dark Lord, Des uh, Dark Lord of, um, first Dark Lord is a fusion monster. And it's fairy. Okay, cool, I know what I'm doing. And I always run, like, Destiny Hero Plasma in this deck because it's just easy to bring out. Oh, uh, well, 
fuck. That sucks, but that is okay. Two attack. Two attack. Uh, I mean, technically, what I can do, and this is going to be mean, activate the Spear of Stigmata Theater. Is it any card? Oh, okay, no. We're going to ring out you by fusing you and you. Summon you. Now, while he's fusion summoned, every time your opponent plays a card, they lose 600. And to try to get more damage on board, we will play Monster Reborn. Did you say when special summoned? Eh, it doesn't matter because I don't have any more branded spell traps. Why I'm using Monster Reborn instead of using his effect? Quite simple, actually. Um, I just don't want to pay the thousand. And we'll use him to search out Stigmatic Curtain. Curtain Rise. Just to get some card advantage. Alrighty, that's 2,500, so I at least need to ram it into something. Battle. So we're gonna attack with you. Now, get any way to stop it? It's gonna be messed up if he has Mirror Force, because Mirror Force will really fuck this deck up. Uh, attack with Chamberlain. Now, as long as this card is fusion summoned, your opponent must pay 6, 000, uh, 600 life points to activate a card. It's not damage, it's pay. For example, just like that, he had to pay 600. I don't know why he did that, but sure. He could have. No, he couldn't have. He couldn't have. That's. And that's the deck. That's basically how you win. Now, I am running one of him because you can just pump up numbers and you didn't really get to see Plasma because, again, I run that to search Plasma out. But that's pretty much how you run the deck. You run her to search out more dark board stuff, to search out that, to search out that, to bring out that. The whole point of this deck is to turbo him out and fill the graveyard up with fairies to basically stall plays, beat down, or prevent special summoning period. Deck is really fun to use and in this day and age when everything is just summon a bunch of monsters to negate or, you know, pal through your opponent's board this is really fun and you can even punish your opponent from combo plays by bringing out masquerade on the field first i used to run cortez but apparently for some reason cortez does not want to be summoned half the time and i can't bring him out so but masquerade's just better and if you control a fusion synchro or link monster while it's in the graveyard you can special summon him and which is an extra level eight to go into bring eight plays like Dergis, Daigirsu, or number 90. And again, you got your Link Monster stuff. I think that's going to be it for DDD. And I will see you next time with another deck profile or mostly deck profiles that I'm doing this week. This has been Dark Lord Diablos. Ciao.